night while the master sleeps. That's what old Henry told Solomon is the best time to run. And if he's going, you go quick. Because by daybreak, you're going to be 30, maybe 35 miles away. So old Henry gave him some bread and water and he'd gone. He ran in. The slave churches was coming after him. He got to keep going, got to. He was telling himself to keep running. His legs was aching and his lungs was feeling that they fit to burst. And then he hears the river. He got to keep going. If he can get to the river, them hounds will lose his scent. But them thorns, brambles and cactus, they were stabbing at his feet. And then he was bleeding and hurting. And his poor heart was pounding like he got a full pop right out of his chest. And then all of a sudden, Solomon, he fall in, fall in, fall in. The master's hands got him, and they was yelping and slapping on his face. One bit his arm and was dragging at him, while the dog who owned the dog was laughing at him. The master took Solomon back to the plantation, so all the slaves then see what had happened to them. They feel like running. Solomon already badly beaten, but things was only getting started. The master, he take his heaviest cow skin, 20 lashes, and he was getting into his stride. And I can't tell you how bad happy thing is. 50, and he was tearing at Solomon's flesh. He whipped Solomon to make him yell. He whipped him to make me. Oh, shit.